Hi, today we will see common error codes which are quite common in API development both in terms of testing and both in terms of development. So one XX series generally goes for the redaction or informational purposes and three goes for redactional, two goes for success, four goes for client side errors and five goes for server side errors. So we will see the common error codes which are related to client side and server side errors and related to success. So first and foremost thing is if we are going to get 200 or not. 200 means okay your API has worked successfully. So the other party or you can say client side party who is accessing our API which you have created or which a person on the server side has created will send 200 when the API goes success and on the client side the other side the guy who is sitting will apply a check of 200 whether he is receiving 200 or not. So for an example if I go with this get mapping I have created a, a method in which I am passing a data which is a kind of integer. So I am doing nothing here I am just returning that I have received this and it is a success message from my side. So if I go to the postman this is the same API test API and passing 1 2 3 as a integer and you can see this is a test API and I am passing in the place of data I am passing 1 2 3. So if I hit send I will get a success message also I will get 200 as ok. So if I am hitting 200 and getting 200 then it means that the API has worked successfully. So I will apply a check of HTTP status code of 200 on uh, client side. So on the basis of that I will do the execution otherwise I will throw an error that whether I am receiving error doing the execution or not. A common mistake which a developer does is that he passes 200 every time even in the place of creation of object. So get is used to get the data, post mapping is used to create an object. But when we are passing any data for creation we should not go with the 200 because it means it is a success only. But 201 means that the things has been created the object has been created in the database. So let's assume that we are doing here certain database db queries and creating the object inside that. After that we should not send ok we should send created. So if I go with the post mapping and pass the data here. So like I have passed here as a post. In the post method I am passing this it will land in my API in which I am creating the object and it will send me 201, 201 that is created which is being passed from this API. So 200 means success but 201 means created. The object has been created in the post mapping. Now comes the client side. The client who is calling the API if the error comes out to be the 400 series then it means that the API error which is coming is from the person who is calling the API only that is the client side. So if I go with the bad request it can be understood that I am calling the API I am calling the URL correct but the thing which I am passing in the request is not correct. For example I am passing integer here. What if I pass instead of 1 2 3 or integer value instead I pass as a string value ABCD then it will not be a valid integer and it will throw an error of 100 as a bad request. Let's see how this goes. So if I go with the get mapping and in place of 1 to 3 in which I am passing if I go with this part in which I am passing 1 to 3 as an integer let's start passing some data, data like ABCD. Since ABCD is not an integer our request data is not correct and it will throw an error of bad request. If I will hit send, see it says bad request not only on the error side but also as a status code. As you can see it is a 400 status. So we should not pass, we should pass the correct data wherever I am getting 400 error. What about 404? 404 clearly says not found. You might have seen it many places even on the URL pages. Wrong URL then you will get this 404 not found error. So if I show that 
let's pass apis change the url apis which is not implemented right now so it will send me an error of not found not only in the error message but also on the status as 404 as you can see it from here so this was about not found what about unsupported media type suppose i have implemented an api suppose this is a post mapping and i am implementing an api in which i require a particular type of data so i will simply write media type dot json and let the json be json value so it says that it consumes media type as application json now i need to pass in the post mapping a data which is a kind of json but i will pass not as json let's put it as a post method and let's pass the data as text only abcd so if you go with the header i'll put not as a text plain text you'll see that i am passing content type as text plain but in the api you will see it is say it clearly says that it is being passed as json so there will be a mismatch here so it will clearly say that it is unsupported media type media type it is expecting application json i am passing here as plain text if i will hit send it will say 404 let me change this to the exact api see it says unsupported media type why it says because we are passing text but it was expecting json and it will say in the status as 415 as an unsupported media type so these are related to 400 series what about 500 series 500 series is a common series which generally comes for most of the apis when the api breaks down in the between while execution for example if i type certain data like int i equals 0 and if i'll say if i equal to equal 0 then throw error throw new exception runtime exception so if i'll throw an error here there will be an internal server error which will be happening so if i which i i can see it clearly happening because i passed i equals 0 and i is being checked as 0 and will throw an runtime exception now if i will go and call this api remove this consumes part from here now it will clearly land into this post method and i will call the test api with not as abcd but 1 2 3 which i was passing that time and i'll click on send it will land in the api but it will throw an internal server error of 500 status code which you can see it here happening it clearly says that something wrong has happened and what wrong has happened it has happened that we are throwing some exception or exception here i am throwing but let's assume that in real time an exception was coming in the api of the server so these are those error codes which are quite common and one should know who is developing and who is testing the apis i hope you might have found in which scenarios these error codes are coming and how the things can be handled by understanding the error codes thank you all for watching the video